What's up guys, Super Kawhi Man here, we're back at the skin, you already know how this goes, so let's get straight into this. We're back here playing Tales from the Borderlands, we're going through. Uh, the last episode, we found out what Fiona's part in that whole deal gone awry was. What happened. Uh, August found out it was a fake key, Zero came in, kind of messed things up. Uh, Shade got shot, which is kind of sad, Shade was a cool guy. Um, I don't think there was too much else that happened. Uh, as per usual, I won't be talking much. But either way, let's get straight into this. We try to throw him out. We should just shoot them first! Save the bullet! The fall will definitely kill them. Stop it with the embellishments. What really happened? No, actually, that's exactly how it went down. Yeah, I was trying to kill him. Oh. Okay. Continue. Ah! Wait! You don't want to do this! He's just stalling. This is a waste of time. We can find the money! What? The case has a tracker! I can follow it! Let him back in, Sasha. Even if you get that case of money back, you won't be able to open it. It has a top-of-the-line biometric lock. It's impossible to open without me and my passcodes. Get the case into my hands and I can open it. Hey, you say so. But getting the case is the hard part. All right, Hyperion. Prove it. Find the money. Just let me call some of my people and, uh... Oh, call the vet! Yeah, Vaughn. I know. You want to call more Hyperion after us? Calm down, Sasha. Let's see what they can do. Thank you. And then kill them if they betray us. Breeze? What the hell is going on down there? You were supposed to do the deal, then come right back. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Just hit a minor setback in the plan. A minor setback? That's not what it looks like from up here. Vasquez was already pissed enough about the car. That was before he got the call from this... August guy. You two have been blacklisted up here, and it's only gonna get worse the more Vasquez keeps yelling. <laughs> Unbelievable! Can't you do anything? Not without implicating all three of us. I already had security asking me everything I know. You two are gonna need me to get back to Helios once you clean up this mess. Come on! I just need access to the Hyperion network! It's like I said, Reese. You're cut off, and my login ID is being monitored. Look, I'm doing my best up here to keep any extra heat off you, but you have to find somebody else. There's only so much I can do. I shouldn't be talking to you this long. Don't trace the signal. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure I can come up with something. I've got to go, Reese. You're going to have to fix this one yourself. How are we supposed to get an ID from another employee? We're not allowed to talk to other employees. So, you've got nothing. Out you go. Hang on, hang on! Can't you, I don't know, install someone else's credentials? I think we're the only two Hyperion guys left on the planet. Ugh, I still have Nakayama's ID drive. Creepy Black Ops projects like that have to be higher security clearance than us. Look, just give up the act, Hyperion. You're just trying to stall us and we're not buying it. What? No, with this, I'm gonna be able to take us straight to the money. <coughs> You might want to hang on to something. Wait until you get a load of this. Vaughn got the tracker working. <clears throat> Vaughn? Where'd everybody go?
Who knows what kind of skeletons that old man's keeping in here. <laughs> nice to meet you, Miss Moxie. Not too shabby in that crazy Pandora kind of way. Well, guess these three have been together for a long time. Cast iron steel. Impressive. For con artists. Still waiting to get a load of that. You know, when you said get a load of this, we assumed you were talking about the drool that pulled around your face when you were unconscious. I tracked the money while you were out. Quiet. This place is crawling with bandits. You okay, Reese? You totally whacked your head right after you plugged in. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine now. What happened back there? No idea. Just blacked out. All your cybernetics still seem to be working, as far as I can tell. So, the case is in there. Somewhere. Wow. What is that place? Looks like some kind of abandoned Atlas warehouse. Doesn't look abandoned to me. Looks more like every bandit on this side of the planet has shown up. How about it, Mr. Roboto? Do you see any way to get inside? Reese, that's Atlas Tech. You should be able to scan it. That vault hunter. Oh, perfect. As soon as a vault hunter finds a case with millions of dollars in it, it's as good as gone. You know how they are. Worse than bandits. Can't we just go in the same way the vault hunter did? We're not vault hunters, Sasha. Settle down. I got this. Okay. Something wrong? No, it's fine. Ooh, that hatch goes down underneath the building, but it's guarded. Okay, so you found a way in. Now remember to get in and out of there quickly. We've already taken too many risks today. You're not coming along? Somebody needs to stay and protect the getaway car. I'll be waiting for your signal. And feel, Sasha, be prepared. Don't trust anyone. We've got a way in, but how are we going to get down there? Have you forgotten about the bandit parade going by? <laughs> That's the easy part. First, we find a crappy hiding spot. Then, we make ourselves a new friend. Fiona and Sasha find cover in order to sneak closer. while we casually take our new pal for a stroll, hopefully. Then we borrow a gun from one of the guards, making sure that his buddy doesn't be left out. Then we take the secret
secret entrance, which leads us to the briefcase. We take a moment to celebrate our swift and easy victory. And we are good to go. Everyone got that? Guys? Damn it. We found another way down. After you. My way would have worked. I got this, okay? Just give me a second. Fiona! Fiona! Open up, please! It's pitch black in here. <laughs> you are hilarious now. Open the damn hatch! You were hoping this would happen. You wanted to separate us so you could pick us off! <sighs> My periods! I can't believe I trusted someone from Hyperion. We should never have let you come with us. We gotta focus on getting the money back. Of course. The money. That's all that matters to you, Suits. It was money we brought to you. Remember? Fake vault key? You just tried to steal our van. See? You're just lashing out now. Nah. Shut up. Walk in front of me. Vaughn, do you copy? Come in, Vaughn. Damn it. Money's on the move, but it's close. We have to hurry. to get to that lift. Yep, easy. I'll take the one on the left, you get the one on the right. Oh, do you think you can handle that? I know you Hyperion guys don't like getting your hands dirty. I got this. Do you even know what you're doing? I'm figuring it out. It's what I do. It's kind of my thing. Come on. Working. 
<laughs> this is all old Atlas tech. Then do it. Just a little bend around here. Get this to line up with. Oh, come on, really? I thought we were past this. Past this? Do you even know what Hyperion means to us on Pandora? The havoc they caused here? The pain? It's crazy up there, too. Things actually aren't so great at Hyperion right now. Yeah? Feeling the weight of your corporate overlords, are ya? Good. Um, what the hell was that? It's one of the power systems starting up. How is it up there, anyway? Where? Up on that base you're all in. What's it called? Helios. Right. Helios. I mean, what's it like being an emotionless cog spinning away, day after day, for the most bloodthirsty, brutal, soul-crushing, love-defying corporation in the whole wide universe? Is it fun? Is it something you like? Look, it's not that easy, okay? Everyone's more than happy to climb the corporate ladder, even if it means using your face for a rung. Ugh, sounds awful. Eh, it mostly is. I, uh, I have to concentrate. Can I help you? Your stun baton. It's the JR-4000. Can I... can I see it? Hold it, I guess I should say. What if I say please? Would that make it easier for you? Do you promise to give it back? Yes. Pinky promise? Yes. Don't hurt yourself. work for the worst corporation in the universe. They do make some cool stuff. I feel like that's the case with most corporations. Thanks. Oh, look at us. We're like best friends now. <laughs> Not quite. And we are in. Password override. System online. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm impressed. I suppose you're not completely useless after all. Aw, oh, shucks. You mean it? Yeah, get the lift moving. I got in, but it didn't give me the right clearances, so I'm gonna need a second. Well, hurry up. Lift down a hill. Damn it, not now.
We got Glasses Face and Hadley. You guys really know how to accessorize. What are you two doing here? Oh, hey! Um... What are you doing here is more like it. Okay, uh... You're not really supposed to answer a question with a question. I already know what I'm doing here. Really? And what would that be? Wow, okay. That's... aggressive. Sort of caught me off guard. Uh... Oh, don't be shy. I... I prepped the cars for the drivers. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Prepping cars, huh? Sounds pretty interesting. So, you guys drivers or what? Sorry, I realize this is rude, but I really don't like your face. You know, I get that a lot. Not one bit. You just always look like you stepped in something. If you're supposed to be prepping the cars, why aren't you doing it? I guess because I'm talking to you. That's probably why, if you must know. I think you're slacking. Whoa, okay, what are you, a secret shopper? You see I'm armed, right? This is a gun. That's a weird way to talk to someone you don't know. Not even factoring in firearms. Let's start over. If you're not official drivers, well, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to shoot you in the face. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. It's just a misunderstanding. We're drivers. Really? Huh. You don't look like any drivers I've ever seen. Then I guess you ain't seen enough. Well, that's very presumptuous. This ain't exactly my first race. Then quit acting like it and get our ride. Ah, uh, well. More meat for the grinder. I guess I'll go get your ride. Oh. Hey, I got something that might interest you. If you're racing... You should look the part. I'm not gonna give them away for free, but uh, you want to look like a team. Pick these up after the last race. The floor was littered with them. Clean most of the blood off. Ah, you've got good taste. Okay, if anyone asks, you didn't get these from me. Now get going. The ride is waiting. station right now tabulating columns of beautiful numbers. My mask smells weird. Does your mask smell weird? Yeah. Look, the important thing is that we're inside and away from that bandit. At least they seem preoccupied. This is bad. This is bad. What have we gotten ourselves into here? Psychos? Motor chariot thingies? Sponsors? Some sort of race? Thing, obviously. Yeah, death race. Eh, looks more like a main race to me. Race will begin! Uh, what an ass. Race will begin in 30 minutes! 30 minutes until the race time! Are you kidding me with this? No legs. Guns, guns, more guns! Fiona, what do we do? I'm getting so sick of having guns pointed at me. We have to find that case. I just don't have a plan for how we do that yet. Yeah, that's what's upsetting me. We find them first, then we can try and figure out where the money is. And owing to today's earlier happenings, the grand prize for tonight's race is a one-of-a-kind Hyperion Mystery Box! No one's been able to open it, but you know you want it. So, I guess we win the race, and they just give us the money. You make it sound simple. It is simple. 
ish. Calm down, it's in the bag. If we win this race, we get the case. If? The deal of a lifetime is really only worth it if your remaining lifetime is more than 24 hours. In my line of work, I have to be good at reading people, seeing their true character. And you, Vaughn, you can do this. I know you can. You really think so? Yeah. See? Now you're having a good time. You just gotta let loose. Rev the engines on your life, Vaughn. Wait, what do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just, you know, enjoy the moment. I could get used to this. Yep. Just don't hurt yourself. Hello! Hello! How does a jackass like this become a leader of anything? Whoa, whoa! I think this guy wants to eat my eyeballs. You're just being- Tasty eyeballs! Good for fricassee! Okay then. Just don't lean in My tomb buggy! No, 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 you've got this all wrong. We didn't do anything. If you let him kill me, you'll never get the money. Oh, yeah, sure I will. Felix can bypass any lock. He'll have your case open faster than this guy can eat your lips. <laughs> but he can't defuse the bomb, sink to my biosignature. Bomb? There's a bomb in the case? Let me go! Stop it! Stop touching my body! Roll out the barrel! I'll draw your blood! Meat buddies right in the death tray! See? You just gotta speak their language. What the hell is this? <laughs> Dying high on a psycho psycho! <laughs> you Pandorans are all crazy. You do know that, right? Drivers drive! Drivers drive! I guess. Let's kick the tires and light some fires. Let's try not to die. Alright, so it's been a long episode, and I think I'm just gonna end this right here, right before we actually get to the race. Because I don't know if there's gonna be any other point in which I can stop this. Um, so a lot of stuff happened. We broke into an Atlas base where, uh, where I'm assuming Boss Nova's hiding because he has beef with Zero. Uh, Reese got trapped with, um, with Sasha. They, uh, they're looking for the case inside the base. Vaughn is with Fiona. They're about to race for the case. Uh, Reese and Sasha the Net Zero, which is, I thought was pretty cool. I like the, uh, the less than three emote that we got from Zero. I think that was a cool little thing. Uh, so yeah, some crazy stuff's been happening. Hopefully we can get the case in the next episode. Peace out, guys.